For us at Microsoft, it is about empowering every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. That's the sense of purpose that we have. In fact, if you go back 40 years when Microsoft was started, when Bill and Paul started the company, the first product that Bill in fact wrote the code for was a basic interpreter. And the idea behind that was to put a tool in the hands of developers all over the world so that they could take advantage of the new microcomputer revolution. A lot has happened in the 40 years since. But that core sensibility is what drives us even today. We had a mission of putting a PC on every desk in every home. But in retrospect, that was a goal. Our mission was to empower every individual and organization. That's really what I look at as we go forward. And of course, technology has changed. Today, we get to realize this mission in what I describe as a mobile-first, cloud-first world. Because when you think about the next five years, next 10 years, what's going to be true is there is going to be more computing in our lives. There's going to be computers that we're going to be wearing in our wrists. There's going to be computers that we'll have on our eyes. There's going to be computers in the rooms that we walk, the big screens, the small screens, things without no screens at all, like sensors. So computing will be everywhere. And what is going to be key will be the mobility of our human experience across all of that computing fabric. And that's only going to be possible because of the cloud. That's one of the reasons why I think about both mobility and the cloud going together. It is not the mobility of any one device, but it is about the mobility of the human experience through all of the computing in our lives. That's truly where technology is going to go.